the hype is real. My coach finally opened up his badminton court. We have been waiting for this forever, but I do have a confession I wanna make before you watch the video. This actually happened like two months ago <laughs> and I was just very daunted. I had a lot of footage and I don't like editing videos and I was just very daunted by the editing of this video. So I kept putting it off and putting it off until it was kind of ridiculous at this point. So it's actually been open for two months. That's why you'll notice there's, you know, a lot of uh, heavy jackets and everything. This was shot end of January, beginning of February. Please Please enjoy a hopefully not so poorly edited, but I still feel like it's pretty poorly edited, video about my coach's brand new badminton court from the beginning as a factory to the beautiful place I play every week. This was week one opening day when I came. The front was just a mess. <laughs> Piles of garbage, scary stairs, hallway filled with junk. Then week two, major improvement. All the trash was cleaned up and he put out the mats, which were quite nice, but there was still kind of a ton of junk in the background, but so much nicer. Week three, he got little flowers to welcome you as you walked in <laughs> and you could still see the junk, but everything was uh, coming more and more together. And then week four, he put a door in the junk rooms and he put the nice fountain in front. So some fish and some fog and this nice kind of Buddha scene greets you as you enter into da -da -da -da, the courts. I came all excited to my coach's first opening day. It's, it's like a soft launch, like this is the very first day. We didn't even have nets yesterday. That's how new this is. And I come in and have a gift for him and everything and he's not even here yet. He's still at home eating dinner. What a letdown. <laughs> but oh my God, he opened his courts. Then I got to play with my friend Young Wen. You've seen him in a bunch of my old videos from back in the day. And honestly, we don't really play together that much. You know, he's a 28 year old, like very serious player male. Like he doesn't want to play with like, you know, an old lady like me, but we were really happy to see each other. We hadn't seen each other in months because we didn't have the courts. So he was like, come on, Xiaobing, let's go play. And I was like, yeah, let's play. And we played against some people that we also knew from months and months ago we haven't seen in a long time. So it was a really fun game. First game in the new court. It was super fun. And we won, yay. And I played with my old pal. The original Shangwei had 14 courts, but this is obviously much smaller. It only has seven. And there's something funny I want to show you. My coach built the floor up from scratch. It's a raised platform, but you wouldn't know. It's not like bouncy. It's just soft and obviously all new courts, all new green material. The nets, you can tell, are from his old place. And this is the funny part I want to show you. His courts opened on my 40th birthday and I'm 47 and a half now. So this is uh, new mats versus seven and a half year old mats. Ready? Da, 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 da. Oh. <coughs> That's the old mat and the new mat. Oh, is he finally here? Hey! Me Chung Wu Lai La. Woman Yi Ching Da. Wo Yi Ching Ying La. Yi Ching Ying La. 
So I just feel super happy to be back here, back in my coach's place. You know, I feel like an ownership to this place, even though I don't like even, I recognize maybe half these people or I know half these people here tonight. Just feel like, you know, my coach, me and my coach, our relationship's really good. So I just like, like this is my place and I can go anywhere. Like, you know, the upstairs isn't finished, but I just walked all around up there. You know, I can play with anybody here. And I just kind of have this confidence that I don't have anywhere else. And it's kind of like something that I didn't know I had and that I realized I've kind of been missing. Aja and I, we aren't loyal to a club or a court or anything. We're always loyal to a day. What day are we free? And then we find a group to play with. And we're members of a ton of groups. And we play all over the place. You've seen my videos. I slowly kind of like, since my coach's court has been closed, I slowly kind of felt like lost. I didn't have my, you know, North Star or my, my normal happy place where I totally belong, you know, and I don't totally belong in all the other places. I felt like Odysseus cast away from my home and I wanted to go home but and I was having wild adventures and meeting lots of people but I was just not home and I wanted to come home and now just to, even on this first night when the court's like half done and things aren't totally ready it just feels good to be home and I'm not the only one a lot of these uh especially young guys I mean they're in their 30s now and they're married with kids but when I met them they were college kids but even like the young guys like you know, I asked my partner, a young one, I was like, hey, you know, where have you been playing these days? And he's like, I just haven't really been playing. Like, his work, they have badminton once a week at a court next to the offices. But aside from that, he said he hasn't really been playing. And a lot of these guys who are, like, really good, they just haven't been playing that much. They've said, I think we are all very happy to be back. Oh, nice. Nice. My coach adding the uh, safety safety thing to the pillars next to the court. Jaya! <laughs> Hope it doesn't make himself dizzy. <laughs> you can see he has absolutely nothing. Like he does have computers set up and he does have uh, security cameras, but he doesn't have like anything set up at all. The bathrooms, they have toilets, but no walls or anything. Um, so the upstairs is still kind of rubble and stuff. So I didn't know if he was gonna have drinks or anything. He doesn't have his machine, but somebody just brought in a few cartons of a sports drink and water. But I brought my Dragon Badminton water bottle available at the Dragon Badminton shop. You can go get yours. Super handy dandy. We used a ridiculous amount of shuttles tonight. You can see there are like two, two tubes at every port. There's two because it's one is totally used up. So uh, this is the first time like anyone's ever used shuttles in this court and now this court is just littered with shuttles and you can start seeing. It'll be fun to kind of start watching uh, all the shuttles kind of get stuck like high up on the, uh, on the ridge things there. Soon there'll be a whole collection of shuttles but today it's fresh and I don't see any yet, but man, we've used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tubes of shuttle we've used. 30 people. So far it's been three hours. So ni kaishima. Kaishi. Bye bye. Ni xiang nian woman ma. So yeah. Hajibu jen. Yay. And then as we were leaving, I talked to my coach one more time. And at the same time, I said, these are my courts. And he said, these are your courts. And we laughed. And he said very sincerely, like, I'm really glad you feel that way. I really, really want you to feel that way. And there is, you know, some connection between me and my coach, even though I'm no longer his star student. I can't do any training because of my health condition. I'm not strong enough. And I'm not even that good a player anymore. <laughs> But we do have this shared history and the shared past of like our passions in life. And I'm very proud of him for opening the courts, even though he's had a bit of adversity with the last place, the landlord forcing him to close. And I'm really happy that we can continue our badminton journey together.